Good morning. I was going to actually like do something with my face um, before filming this, but you know what? This is real life. This is what I'm gonna look like. So, good morning. I'm making breakfast. I have not done one of these videos in a long time, the, you know, what I eat in a day video. So I'm cooking up breakfast. It's, right now it's 11.30. I'm doing intermittent fasting. So I try to go between 14 and 16 hours of intermittent fasting, so I'm breaking my fast. I did it with a, um, a celery juice first, and now I'm making up a little egg scramble with some veggies. We have some veggies here. I'm gonna do some chicken sausage, some avocado, some fruit on the side. We've got our sweet potatoes going. These are the spices I'm using, and I use the salt very sparingly. I almost got so excited to eat that I almost forgot to show you what it looks like. Egg veggie scramble, chicken sausage, some sweet potatoes, and some watermelon with, of course, some tahini. We're in a two-month boot camp, eight weeks to change with Lacey Stone. So I haven't been tracking my macros and my meals the way I would if it were like a two-week boot camp, because then it's like a very specific goal for a very short amount of time, um, versus like two months where I feel like I can kind of get into the groove of what the lifestyle would be, and more so integrating the things that I crave and the foods that I want, but doing them and cooking them at home in a more healthy way. So I post every Monday my content for the week, of what you guys can expect from me, but I also been posting our dinner meals, like our menu for the week, just because a couple of things. One, it helps me to be more efficient, more specific when I'm grocery shopping and not just grabbing random shit, but also too, it helps on food waste. So I know exactly what we're cooking and what ingredients I'll need. And I hope it also inspires you to cook more and to share your meals with me because I run out of ideas all the time. So today is Monday. I already made breakfast. I'm doing a 14 to 16 hour fast each day. So my first meal today was around 11.30 a.m. Probably gets boring hearing me say the same thing, but I always make a meal the way that I think of a meal is I take a lean protein, a complex carb, and a healthy fat. And I try to consume one of those things at every meal. Otherwise, I kind of don't consider it to be a meal, if that makes sense. That's just my own personal thing. Like that's how I can ensure that I'm getting in enough protein and that I'm eating lean, clean, and green and to kind of like stay on track with all of those things and not have to actually track it like with an app, like with my fitness pal, um, which I have not been doing. I probably will track macros like the last two weeks just to really tighten it up and reel it in and see exactly where I'm at and how much calories I'm consuming for the day instead of just guesstimating as I usually do. Okay, I have to put you down. My arm is hurting. Oh yeah, much better. So that's it, that's for this week. I'm just going to be tracking what I'm eating every day with you guys and just sharing that with you. Friends vegetarian, she's pescatarian, so her meals will be a little different from ours. For the most part, we try to do meatless Mondays. Today is not one of those days. I have a bunch of errands to run, so I'm gonna head out of here, pack some snacks, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it's 2.45, which means it's midday, which means somewhere between lunchtime and like dinner time, either before lunch or after lunch, I'll have a snack, I'll have a midday snack, which if I'm home, I'll just make it myself, but if I'm out and I need something quick, I'll go with a protein bar. I love this, this is the Bomar Nutrition, this is their brownie protein hot chocolate bar. It has minimal ingredients, the nutrition facts is really good, it's 230 calories, which is like a meal for me. So I'll have this in between breakfast and lunch, or in between lunch and dinner. And so today, since I was out running errands all day, I just had this, and so now I'm going to make lunch lunch, which, again, it's all about convenience and making it easy for myself, something quick so that I can jump back into my work day, which for me today is editing. So since I'm craving something bubbly, I'm having just this, it's just the, lime flavored bubbly, which I think is, I like to call this Sprite. <laughs> it's a very clean Sprite, I guess. So I'm just gonna do some tuna in water. I'm gonna drain that, have it over a bed of lettuce. I'm gonna chop up some chives with it, some cracked black pepper. And then I'm using this Annie's Organic Asian Sesame dressing, and that's it. That's gonna be my lunch. And then I'll eat dinner, I'll prep dinner, which for dinner tonight we're doing, um, I shared this on my IG since it's my weekly dinner menu, but it's, we're doing salmon and veggies, which I think tonight's gonna be asparagus and broccoli. I'll put you here and you can watch me make my lunch. So, <laughs> my view of the bowl. Did a really crappy job of draining out this water. So I just finished my lunch and 
still a little hungry, not like hungry, but like I'm craving something sweet. So I'm going to make a smoothie, but not just any smoothie. I'm doing frozen watermelon chunks. So we had a fresh watermelon this week. And so I chopped up some chunks, threw them in the freezer. Do fresh basil, where's my basil little plant? I'm gonna throw some fresh basil in there. I'm gonna throw in some almond milk and some mint, whatever fruit we have. Banana maybe, we shall see how this turns out. But I'm going to make a smoothie, so here we go. I want you to see how big of a mess I made making this. It's all yummy and delicious. And then this is the mess that I made. Yeah, oh, there's lunch. So I just did like four really big chunks of frozen watermelon. Uh. Oh, hi baby. Hi. Four big chunks of frozen watermelon, like a handful of fresh basil and some almond milk. This is the barista blend almond milk. Blended it together, legit like a milkshake. Taste it, babe. Tell me what you think. Not bad. Isn't that good? It's healthy too. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. I like. Trying to come up with ways to make dessert because I need dessert daily. I need it first. So it's 7.30. I'm getting a very late start on dinner. Space buns. Usually though, my last meal is at seven o'clock because of the whole intermittent fasting thing. So I'll just have my first meal later tomorrow. So for dinner tonight, I'm making salmon. I'm gonna make some veggies. I think I'll do some nice brown rice. The trick to my brown rice is you have to soak it overnight though so that they're soft or just at least soak it. And I didn't have a chance to do that, so. Yes, these are frozen from Costco. I am absolutely 100% not opposed to making anything that will make my life easier and make meal prep also less of a hassle. So we shall make it with some artichokes. We'll throw in, ooh, asparagus and we'll do green beans. I originally thought I wasn't going to cook it with you also and share the recipe because it would just take forever if I do this for an entire week for three meals, but I don't know that I'll do an entire week because my meals get kind of boring. So first thing you go for it and I'll show you how I'm making dinner. It's really easy. I'm unthawing the salmon right now. I'm gonna pop it on the stove and a little bit of olive oil. These are the seasonings that I frequently cook with the most. Those right there, love, love, love. I go very easy on the salt when I do use it. I love seasonings, I love spice, so I season a lot. I just don't use a lot of salt. I'm gonna put the asparagus in the toaster oven. I'm going to make some potatoes for Corinne. I found brown rice in the fridge, already made, so I'll have my brown rice and my veggie. And yeah, so let's get cooking. They smell fishy. Okay, well, there goes that idea. I guess frozen broccoli it is. Oh well, it's fine. I'll steam it, it's still green, still good. Okay, so far we have Corinne's potatoes back there cooking up and some olive oil. I just did a little bit of salt, some pepper, some red chili flakes and some garlic powder. Salmon's in there, broccoli's steaming. And I'm just snacking on artichoke hearts. And just like that, dinner's done, super easy. There's some salmon, some broccoli, some potatoes. I'm gonna throw some kimchi on this, some artichoke hearts. Call it a night.